No matter what you think of the president's current policies, it is important to appreciate the unprecedented movement that was created and driven by ordinary people in this country. <coughs> Many of those indiv individuals who couldn't even vote because they were not citizens or because they were under the age of 18 and too young to vote. In 2008, it, there was an unprecedented amount of people who voted. The most since 1968's election between Richard Nixon and Hubert Humphrey. At a time when America was at war in Vietnam and undergoing domestic struggles with the assassinations of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy. During these times, young people, such as you, stood up to the naysayers and those who said no to a shift in the country's policies. It was then, as it is now, young people who stood up, took action, and who were willing to sacrifice some time and energy that have defined what this country and this world look like. I want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, for, for those, uh, those uh, students and, and, and so on. Um, I guarantee that you will hear this time and time again like I heard it when I was your age, just about 10 years ago or so. But it's true. The future of this world is in our hands, and what we do now will have an impact for generations to come. Please improve the lives of people in your community and your planet. Many of you are already active in your schools and communities, making a difference in, in your peers' lives and individuals you have never met, and I commend you. So that was my story, and I encourage everyone to look at the events that brought you here today and explore why you think the way you do. To know where you came from will help guide, will help guide you to the rest of your life. So thank you very much for allowing me to speak.